Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today on our Travel Pocket Altar Part 9, the rest of the little bits, this is a nine part series and our last episode. This is the rest of the little goodies that were left over from all the other episodes. And we're going to go over together and have some fun. We have done everything from sculpting to pendulum working, jar filling, smudge making, you name it, we've done it in this episode. Well, my pagans, let's do some crafting and have some fun. In this episode, we're looking at the last of the little bits that are in the collections. We have a feather here, a quartz crystal, a howlite skull stone bead, an evil eye protection bead, five more quartz crystals, a scrying mirror, Our candles, all the elements are represented in these four charms, fire, air, earth, and water. Now we're going to dress our candles. Since we're going to bind the candles together, Miles will use a cord we could use for a binding or not magic spell. I'm going to choose red because my tin is red and it's my favorite color. It's no reason. It's passionate color. It's a love color. So these are my little candle holders that we made in one of the other episodes. And we are going to just bind the four candles together. I have four candle holders, so we're going to use four candles. I've cut about two feet, that is 24 inches. I'm gonna put a little striker from the side of the box of the, the matches. I'm trying to fit in the matches here somehow. So don't put too many because it'll take up too much space. I found just the one match was cool and then you can add the other matches inside the tin. I just do one knot so I can make it easy for yourself to be able to untie it, to be able to access again without having to cut it out. Now we're going to take our charms. Now our charms are meant to be used for jewelry and whatnot. So it's got little hooks on there and I want to snip that off. You could use small wire cutters, jewelry cutters, but I'm going to use my larger uh, tools, my larger wire cutters so I don't wreck my nice jewelry ones. I will go in with the little ones just to trim up so they won't be able to, they won't make a mess out of those ones. They're very precious. And a little repeat using the cups. Now the cups and tarot cards is for water. The pentacle and tarot cards is for earth. The athame or the sword is air. And of course, the little wand is for fire. So I got still a little bit of Wiccan left in me. So I like still calling the corners north, south, east, west, and using these little charms to represent that when I have my little sacred deck erections down. It is a fun way to do it. As you see here, I use my four candles, my four sacred directions, as well as my four elements. So today we worked with our candles, our extra little bits. And I just want to say thank you so very much for chilling out with me today. It has been a pleasure making this nine part series. If you haven't seen the other one, check this out coming up here and you can see the whole playlist 
coming up at the end of this video. Well, thank you very much again and have yourself a magical day.